All right, I want to show you guys a LED project I made for my son. His name is Camden. We call him Cam for short. Uh, just a fun project that you get with LEDs. I bought the LEDs off of eBay. I think they are about $35 for the whole strip. Um, these ones are cuttable. Um, as you can see, each spot, there's a little strip right here. You cut that line and you solder it together uh, wherever you want to go whatever direction you want to take it these ones are about 35 bucks like I said but they have cheaper ones for 15 bucks or so that are also cuttable but they don't have this controller that comes with this uh, the, the $35 one this controller comes with a radio um, a radio control or remote control I should say and it um, changes all these different colors some of the cheaper ones are just one solid color all in all there is 72 points of solder to connect all the LEDs. Uh, the controller starts here, goes over, and then makes its way through. And you can see each solder point. Uh, this right here, I looped around the back. As you can see, it goes down the back side and comes up right underneath here. For the cross part of the A, I went to this point and I'm not sure if you can tell. Not sure if you can tell, but there is um, black electrical tape holding the wires down. Then it comes down here. The end part of the end comes around here and loops on the back side as well. But look, it loops actually underneath here to this side. So those are all the points. Like I said, there are 72 of them. Um, it took a long time to solder. Um, the paint only took a day to dry. Um, with the wood that I used absorbs a lot of paint, so I end up using almost a whole can of white to primer the whole board, and then the black wasn't too bad. But when it's done, and you hook everything up, here's the uh, controller that it comes with. There's a little infrared spot for the remote, and then it comes with a little power supply. The remote, you have all of your solid colors, white, blue, green, and red, and you have variations of all the colors. Over here you have different transitions, to have, um, whether it be flashing or, or strobe lights or it fades in and out. Up here you have a dimmer switch and uh, increase um, the brightness. This one's decrease, this one's increase. When it's done, you turn it on, Not sure how good you guys can see it, but it's actually pretty bright. And then you can in increase the brightness and decrease the brightness. I'm not sure if you're picking it up. And then you can go through the different colors. And then it does various things. That's the flash. And then this one's the strobe. This one's the fade. It's probably my favorite one. And then this one's called smooth. And you can go back to the solid color. Um, I have the lights on in the garage right now, but I'll turn them off here in a minute. But it lights up my whole garage. Hold on one second, and I will hit the lights. Okay, so here's what it looks like with the lights off. And right now it's on low. But if I turn it up, you can see how bright this thing really gets. And it's trying a pretty good cast on the on the garage. I'm lighting it up pretty good. And then you can see the colors better with the lights off. That is the white. That is the blue. That's green. I'm not sure how good it shows up on the camera, but it's really green here. And then the red. And then you have each color variation of, of the solid colors. And then... And then this, the uh, different functions. That's the flashing one. 
I think with the flashing light, I think you can only, it only flashes in white, I think. Yeah, it only flashes in white. And that's the other one. So, if you have some spare time and you're really good at soldering, um, something you can do for your for your kid or just anything you want to do. Um, like I said, it wasn't really expensive, but the most part was was getting all the soldering done, and uh, that took a few days without burning myself out. So that's it.